Welcome back to our channel, your source for in-depth analysis of global events. And today, we're diving into a major international incident that's been making headlines worldwide. The South China Sea, a region of strategic importance, has become the center of a brewing storm between the United States and China. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on critical world events. It all began when China initiated a series of military exercises in the South China Sea, a move that raised eyebrows across the globe. These exercises, which involved the deployment of naval vessels and aircraft, were seen as a significant flexing of military muscle in a region where multiple nations have territorial claims. The situation escalated when the U.S. Navy responded with a dramatic show of force, firing missiles into the South China Sea. This move sent shockwaves through the international community and raised concerns about a potential conflict between two of the world's superpowers. Chinese authorities have issued a navigation warning over planned military exercises in some parts of the South China Sea. The Guangdong Maritime Safety Administration said the warning would be in place from 6 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. on September 28. Military exercises will be conducted in some waters of the South China Sea and navigation is prohibited. It did not elaborate on the location of the exercises. China claims almost the entire South China Sea under its controversial Nine-Dash Line. In recent months, tensions have risen with the Philippines, whose claims overlap with China's, over the Second Thomas Shoal and Scarborough Shoal. Both are within Manila's exclusive economic zone, defined under the United Nations Convention on Law of the Sea as generally extending 200 nautical miles from shore, within which the coastal state has the exclusive right to explore and exploit. Earlier this week, the Philippines Coast Guard cut a 300-meter floating barrier installed by China that it said was blocking fishing boats' access to Scarborough Shoal, which Beijing seized from Manila after a months-long standoff in 2012. Late on Wednesday, the Chinese Coast Guard disputed that version of the events, saying the barrier had been deployed on Friday when a Philippine vessel entered the area illegally and was removed the following day. I would also like to reiterate once again. Wanjin Island is China's inherent territory. Wang Wenbin, a spokesperson at the Chinese Foreign Ministry, claimed at a regular press briefing, referring to Scarborough Shoal by its Chinese name. Manila refers to it as Bajo de Mesinloc. The rocky outcrop is a prime fishing spot and has been a site of contention for years. Both countries claim sovereignty over the shoal, which lies about 120 nautical miles from the Philippine island of Luzon and 594 nautical miles from China's southern island of Hainan. China has maintained a Coast Guard presence there ever since the 2012 standoff. Brunei, Malaysia and Vietnam also claim parts of the sea near their coast and have reported incidents of harassment by Chinese ships. In a separate report early on Thursday, China's state media also reported several bombers from the Southern Theater Air Force, which covers the South China Sea, held nighttime exercises on Wednesday. The report did not elaborate on exactly where the exercises took place. China's military exercises in the South China Sea have been a cause of concern for neighboring nations and the international community. The Chinese government has repeatedly defended these exercises as routine drills within its own territory. However, the extent and scale of these exercises, coupled with their proximity to disputed territories, have raised alarm bells. In response to China's military exercises, the U.S. Navy took a decisive step by firing missiles in the region. This act can be seen as a show of force and a clear message to China that the United States is committed to maintaining stability in the South China Sea. The U.S. government has voiced its concerns about China's activities in the region 
and has reiterated its support for its allies and partners in the area. The escalation of tensions in the South China Sea has significant implications for regional stability and global geopolitics. As the two superpowers, the United States and China, continue to engage in power struggles in this region. The risk of unintended conflict looms large. The international community, including neighboring countries and organizations like ASEAN, has called for peaceful resolutions to these disputes through dialogue and diplomacy. The recent firing of missiles by the U.S. Navy in response to China's military exercises in the South China Sea underscores the complex and delicate nature of regional politics in this part of the world. It is imperative that all parties involved exercise restraint and prioritize peaceful negotiations to resolve their differences. The international community will be closely watching further developments in this ongoing saga, hoping for a de-escalation of tensions and a return to stability in the South China Sea. This is a critical moment in geopolitics. The South China Sea is a hotspot for territorial disputes, and any military action in this region can have far-reaching consequences. As tensions continue to rise, it's crucial to understand the broader implications of these events. Will this lead to a full-blown conflict? How will neighboring countries respond? And what does this mean for global stability? That wraps up today's video on the escalating tensions in the South China Sea. We'll keep you updated as the situation develops. If you found this video informative, Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.